been a long week and a half. <laughs> so, one thing that I like to do, because I teach high school part time, and um, and sometimes I get to teach creative writing to seniors. And one thing that we do in the classes when we're working on character development is describe the character's living space, like describe the character's room or, or the car or something like that where, where the object and the setting works to reveal a character. And so um, when I finally followed Gail's directions <laughs> and, and turned to page 69, I found that that's what I had done here. So this is um, from the scene that takes place in that town, Fort Drag, <laughs> um, and this is this guy's house, and he's a stranger to the narrator. Um, but this is after the show. They've just played a show in his basement, and so this is the post-show scene. I take a seat next to Alexa on the sofa, next to the card table. I'm feeling better after having had some time away, a little more like myself. She has the insert from a cassette tape unfolded spread across her lap. What are you doing? Reading along with the lyrics. Classic rock crackles from a corner of the basement where Walt has set a boombox on top of a pile of laundry. It looks like it could tumble over at any moment. Women with strong voices sing over a muted electric guitar and synthesized keyboard. It's so 80s, I say. Who is this? Heart, Alexa says. She extends her hand, painted with the blue peace sign, and points to Walt's poster that I noticed earlier. I take a longer look at it now as the song fades out, and Walt crosses the room to turn the volume up. Two girls with heavy eyeliner and blue eyeshadow stare at the camera. They're wearing black lace around their necks. One brunette, one blonde, one expectant, one wistful, skinny, some cleavage. Listen, Walt tells Alexa, this one's very special. Um, so we have Walt, this takes place now, but he still has a boombox and cassette tapes and heart posters on his wall. and. He's older than the narrator, and he's kind of stuck in time, stuck in this, stuck in this building. 